Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and welcome to Pocket Q. Hello, monster. Found this game on Google Play. We're gonna be trying it out, see how it is. It looks like a human slash Pokemon <laughs> type of ordeal, so I'm kind of interested to try it out. To just know a new server. All right, fine. I'm down. Kind of like the look of it a little bit. Characters actually don't look half bad. Is that Polyworld over there? Wow. Oh. So say is this like a little intro? That was actually pretty neat. So how does the whole Pokemon slash human thing start? That's the real question. <laughs> guy definitely looks familiar. Alright. That is a long ass name you tried to give me. I don't want it. I got a got some badges over here. So we go to gyms take take badges. Cool, cool. Ooh. A new toy. Well, let's, let's skip it. Whoops, I was not trying to do that. Okay, that's, that's what it looks like. <laughs> My bad. Was not trying to click. And Jesus Christ, she's loud. I thought it was just gonna... I could just click it and open it. Alright, Jigglypuff. Looks very odd. I'm pretty sure this is another shark licking game. Rat is hat. Huh. They're all just under different names. Weird. I'll say this, some of them look pretty cool. First world. Oh, look at that Psyduck. She's probably the most OP one here. Oh, it's a timing thing too. Well then. I'm not good at timing. I'm trying to remember who is that. I, mm, I know what it looks like, but I cannot remember the name. Who's that fucking, like, round boater Pokemon? Yeah, I haven't played Pokemon in, like, so damn long. Water God? What? Oh, Suicune. <laughs> I was sitting here like, wait, who the hell is that? Does everybody share HP? Okay, no, they don't. I was just looking up here, I wasn't looking down here. Okay, so yeah, it's the Shark Collector and um, Rarity Upper. It's where you use these and increase their rarity. Basically, like equipment up. Yep, equipment up. <laughs> Increase that quality.
I won't lie. I still like the design. Pretty unique spin on it. At least these guys are within, like, the, you know... Oh. What is this gonna say? They're, they're not, like, completely copying Pokemon or anything like that. Then I saw the, <laughs> then I saw the bears, but I was just like, wait, that looks way too close. <laughs> I like her design. So Jigglypuff doesn't have a charge. I was just about to do that. Damn, fish. Alright, all of them survived. Level 4. Oh, Primate. I, I was trying to figure out who that is. I was just like, is it a fern? Or is it, uh... Oh. Can we just craft him now? Yeah, like I said, it's a shark collector, so... Yep, collect shards to make it. characters. And to up their stars, you also have to have more. I'm pretty used to these type of games, for sure. The fuck? Oh. Is it basically hello? Oh, um, Mewtwo, basically? <laughs> I mean, that's my first guess. Oh, there's even an auto button. Oh, Cerberus, which is pretty much how Doom. Definitely like the design of this damn thing. Tyranitar? Is that the name? Like I said, dude, it's been a while since I've played Pokemon. So I gotta try to remember all the characters' names. So I'm guessing if the game knows you're not gonna kill it in like one shot, you have to do the whole meter thing. That's at least my guess. More fragments. So now we can star up Charizard. Yep, star two. Works like most other games. Seems like you can have up this. Was that six? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's six. You can have up to six characters in one. So basically, you have a chance of getting shards too, and an actual complete character. Yeah, fragments. Oh, through special events.
Why is the skip button still there? And there also is a VIP system. I kind of suspected that. You have uh, Pikachu here too. <laughs> Not gonna lie, he kind of looks like a badass. Definitely like his design. I know we'll use all my uh, crystals and save them up for like through the days. Usually do all my uh, dailies and stuff like that. Seems like I can get Charizard to six star just by doing all this. Oh, four star actually. Too bad. All right. I gotta want to go back and finish that. So charge her. Yeah, so she seems like she's gonna be heavily, heavily used. Yeah, words. Might as well increase her the most. Trying to increase level. I guess you. I was about to say, I guess you can't. Because our count is level 6, so she should be able to go up to level 6 if we add one. I'm a completionist, why not? Pretty easy. Yeah, but she still gets one-shotted. So we're gonna have to wait. Wait till we can increase her or get somebody better. Next. Gengar? You look so weird, dude. You don't even look like a Gengar, to be honest. Does auto even work? It does. It's not as good as doing it yourself, though. Oh, that was the boss anyway. Never mind. God, you're gonna bother me if I don't figure out your name. I know I have balls from Geodude. Arcuno? She has a nice design. Damn, rip my back line, dude. Wait, I don't remember her doing fire damage now. So we basically were still in tutorial. So now we have skills.
They just want to keep your, all of your skills up to date. They can't go past the actual character, though. Have to be level 5. Ah, so I'm guessing Zathos is here. Ooh. Free stuff. I could choose around the map where you do want them to go. Oh. Okay. So basically click all around the map and get resources. I say I have no idea what I'm clicking on right now. Okay. Kind of makes sense. The resources is definitely on half bad around the map from what I see. I'm sure there's more though. Cool. Ah, oh, I can't do dungeons. So what's all this crap? Step up events, not interested. What's the manager down? You have to be a VIAP above to get that. That's a classic shark liking game method that mostly all of them do. So nothing new there. Got some gifts to open up. Mostly seem like stamina items. Ooh, a squid. Relationship items, too. Everybody's uncommon. Okay, come on, increase. Thank you. Oh jeez, that noise, what? But anyway, overall pretty oh that's not that wasn't even Articuno. Who the hell was the other one we attacked? If that's Articuno. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Pikachu. And you paralyze, of course. Oh, 
All right, level nine. So Jigglypuff is going to be our main support, basically, right now. So you also have characters that... Oh, this is both Venusaur. Okay, Venusaur. But you also have characters that can attack their whole entire front line in the, the middle and stuff like that. Oh. I guess I, I thought I had time just to talk. Oh, damn. Okay. Calm down, dude. But yeah, there are certain characters that can attack the whole entire back line with just their basics. They're characters that can just attack, I guess, pretty much everybody, too. I've seen games do that pretty often sometimes. This is a long ass tutorial. Jeez. Okay, so now I can get the potions. Plus one now. So let me guess who they have swipe tickets. Oh, they have raid. Not a lot of games had the raid function. They normally just put in slide tickets instead of raid. That's slide tickets, uh, swipe tickets. Sweep tickets? Whichever one they call them. Sometimes they call them like the most random shit anyway, so yet. <laughs> Need one more. Thank you, appreciate it. This this would be normally how you get resources. If you don't feel like actually doing the stage over and over again. There's no like real consequence from it from what I see. Doesn't look like it uses tickets or anything. Alright, plus one. I wonder. Does this level the characters too? I don't think it does. Everybody's plus one. Gotta keep their skills up to date too. But they do have the whole skill thing. Skill points. I think it may be too long. There's other games that definitely beat them inside of how fast their skills recharge. A lot of games actually. So yeah, you gotta use those wisely. So always happen that noise always happens when I go back here. Oh, so that was um what the fuck was it? Cobat? Arcanine or something? I was not paying attention to any names. Nice. 
Thank you for the reward. I'm sure their hard quest will give us a um, free... Oh, I know who that is. The fucking flying dragon type bird. That's who it is. I forgot what else I was going to say. God damn it. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure a hard quest will have like free fragments that you can farm every day. Thunder God. So this is a. Uh... God damn, I can't remember his name. It's one of the wandering legendaries, one of those three ones with Sweet Coon and uh. Okay, there's a kill. Yep, it does. With Entei and um, Suicune. Can't remember who the other one's name. But that's him. See, I remember some Pokemon things. Not a lot, though. <laughs> uh, you guys just really want me to buff the hell out of her, don't you? This is normally how you start wasting all of your gold and stuff. Let me... Please... Let me know if there is, like, Mega Evolves and stuff like that. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Shit, there's Mega Evolves in this game? Sign me up. I'll play a little bit more. <laughs> Looking forward to Sword and Shield, though. Should be interesting. I'm just waiting for them to release the, like, the new Pokemon designs and everything. Like they did for, like, Sun and Moon. They were just showing all the new looks of them. I'm waiting for that. Start teasing me. Spoil me already. You know? I'm pretty sure we're all thinking it. Just spoiling me at this point. Uh... All right, I think that's all I'm going to be playing. But yeah, guys, that has been Pocket Q3. Try it out yourselves if you guys enjoy how it looks and how it plays. Pretty interesting game. Uh, personally, I just like the designs and that's pretty much it. <laughs> designs look pretty cool and I would definitely collect them. But that's if I had the patience to get lucky off of these banners but yeah i would probably save up for it like the 10 summon if anything but anywho hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next one and to then peace out Cause what you got to lose